Hi, I'm Wayne Knight. I'm in Elf the Musical as Santa Claus. And I'm here at Broadway.com to answer your questions. It's Newman. It's always good when you're in a full Santa regalia. You know, look, I'm wearing the beard. I've got the white hair. I've got the red suit. <sighs> well, um, Marissa, I think I, I pretty much got it. Um, I've got a, um, a two and a half year old son who uh, is seeing me uh, as Santa Claus. And um, I'm on Broadway in a show I really enjoy. And my TV series got picked up for <laughs> back nine of episodes. So thank you, Santa. <laughs> Cassie, I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I'm old. I'm old, Cassie. Did you get it? Um, uh, yes, I was. Uh, you know what was really cool is that you know, they were brought in from the alley, you know, um, and um, we're all in costume. I look over and there are these cool young guys and their girlfriends, and there's me and Jordan in an elf outfit. You're going, who's the cool one here? Not me. Cat, you know, uh, uh, I came in for one audition. Um, on Seinfeld, the uh, episode was, the premise of the episode was, uh, how long do you wait uh, before hitting on a guy's girlfriend when he's in a coma? And uh, Newman was the building snitch. Uh, and, and Newman notices that uh, Jerry is hitting on the girl whose boyfriend's in a coma. He's a friend, he and Kramer are friends of uh, the guy in the coma. And we're in a hospital room, and I'm sitting next to Michael Richards, and we look like something from the 1939 World's Fair, you know, I'm, I'm completely circular and he's a complete needle. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll come back, you know. Uh, but did I think that it would turn out to be uh, something that would plague me for my entire existence? No. I have this little thing, this, uh, this little press, um, and um, it, it makes espresso and you just go and you press it right into the cup, so it's me. I make the best coffee in Manhattan. Um, Monks, by the way, doesn't actually exist. Truth of the matter is, uh, I was a little kid in, uh, in Georgia, and um, I was in kindergarten, and I had to deliver this poem for this kindergarten class. There were like 51 kids in the, in the class. And the poem was like, 51 smiles has a lot of smiles, and they can go for miles and miles. I remember the poem. And um, I was supposed to give this poem, and they kept forgetting for me to do the poem. And I go, Miss Mary Lou, I'm supposed to do the poem. And they go, later. So finally, it's like the show is about to end, and they go, oh, let the kid do the poem. So I went out and did the poem. You know, 51 smiles has a lot of smiles. And it was the end of the show. And all the parents went, ah, they all like applauded. And I thought, I'm killing them. I'm killing them with the poem. They're loving the poem. You know, Brandon, there are, there are a lot of lean times in an actor's life. You know, sometimes it's gravy and sometimes it's fumes. And uh, did I, in some of those lean times, think, geez, maybe if I drove these pop bottles to Michigan, I could scrape a few more bucks together? No. No, I did not. I remember when I was a kid, my parents took me to see Herschel Bernardi doing Zorba, uh, and uh, I was so impressed by um, how deep his voice was, <laughs> and just that it seemed like the kind of thing, so that kind of play, and then, uh, you know, Fiddler on the Roof, and uh, just like, you know, that's the kind of thing, I, and then I, my voice didn't turn out that way, and the kind of things I did didn't really work that way, but that was it, Zorba. I don't, you know, it all depends on what you think is outrageous as to whether or not, see, because the stuff that I was asked to do, I mean, you know, uh, um, 
slide down a hill wet and then be spat in the face by a dinosaur? That's outrageous, you know? And uh, what they were doing, uh, when they were doing that to me, was pretty outrageous. Um, there were three different types of spit that they were hitting me with. There was one guy who had a hose with some petroleum distillate, and then somebody else hits me with this stuff called methicil, which is stretchy and gooey. And then the third guy has a gun loaded with dyed black KY jelly, and he's standing a few inches away from me, and he shoots me in the face. And he tells me, don't blink, because if you do, we're going to have to do another take. Turns out that that guy now lives across the street from me in California. He's got a nicer house than I do. For Money TV, for Love Broadway. Artichokes. Promises, promises. The ticket, um, where uh, Kramer and I have to go to court uh, over a parking ticket, and uh, I just completely freak out in the courtroom because I never became a bank. Is taking off the beard. It's just, the moment that it comes off, you're like, oh, ah. Uh, Andy, there were two things about uh, Space Jam. Part of it was fantastic, part of it was horrible. The fantastic part was hanging out with Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley and, and all of these incredible basketball players and, and thinking, why me? How did I get here? Because um, and uh, I remember that uh, Jordan had a muscle in his leg inside of another muscle. He had like a spoing muscle. You know, so that, that most people have this muscle in their leg and then he had another one where he spying, it was unbelievable. Uh, the worst part was that we are in green screen. You're shooting it, um, everybody's wearing a little green ninja suit. There is, a, uh, the entire stage is painted green, the floor is green, the ceiling is green, and there are little red tennis balls everywhere to mark where you are so they can animate it later. There are no props, there are no actors, there are no nothing, there's just you on a bare stage. Weird. I love W.C. Fields, I love the Marx Brothers, I love Abbott and Costello, like these old-timey kind of uh, comic characters. Hence, I, I fall down a lot. <laughs> I would say the Honeymooners. Um, I mean, that, um, to, for, to be in a show that's even set in the same breadth as the Honeymooners, as one of the great classic comedy series is amazing to me. That and Mary Tyler Moore, I guess, are my favorites. I enjoyed um, two. I enjoyed doing Tantor. Uh, well, Toy Story was great, but I enjoyed doing Tantor and Tarzan. And there was another character called Mr. Blick in a, um, a TV series called Cat Scratch, which was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll tell you, Rob, uh, you know, it's not so good. I do have a, a bowling ball with its own name. His name is Tor. And uh, I, I, there is a glove somewhere. But as far as picking up a split, mm. I root for the University of Georgia because I went to the University of Georgia and you can only root for those teams after you leave. Um, and uh, I was a, an offensive guard and a defensive lineman and never saw the ball and um, I would just have bruises up and down my arm and then go to sleep really early. So do I play for fun? <laughs> no. Hey, uh, thanks for coming to Broadway.com and uh, asking me your questions. I'm Wayne Knight and I hope you come see me in Elf the Musical.